host nation Europa. qualifier Game on. coming through his opening match against Mario van den Bahada to set up a second round encounter with the world champion and the world number one Peter Wright tomorrow. Rob Malarkey in the chair for this opening match of the evening session. We'll see two more Gibraltar players on stage this evening. Dylan Duo Jr. and Dyson Parodi. Mark Webster alongside me for this one. Good evening, Mark. Yeah, great way to start the evening as well. We ended the afternoon session with the Rodriguez win. 100. Will we start with one tonight? Rusty Jake got by Marco Cantelli. Just. Yeah, only just. Yeah, one of the better performers for Marco Cantelli. Uh, doesn't do himself justice on the big stage at times, but so close 24. this afternoon. But Roby, who has been well documented, his uh, daughter has not been very well, but spoke to him just as he went on. So she's on the mend. She's here with him. He's got his family with him, and... He just intends to enjoy himself this weekend. A bit of a stressful moment for Obi John. Agonised, he missed yeah. out on the Grand Prix, and that was because he withdrew from yeah. Budapest. But still, his year's going well. As you mentioned, the finalists on the Euro Tour, things are going well for Obi John no, on the hockey, that is for sure. Yeah, good to see him here, actually. I wouldn't have been overly surprised if he'd pulled out of this one. As I say, he's uh, pretty much assured of his place in the European Championship, no, but uh, he's here. The clan's here as well. Rusty Jake is here in person, although not still in the tournaments. Sorry, he is <laughs> through to the tournament. He was very much in danger of going out earlier on, as you mentioned, Mark, with that uh, win, narrow win over Marco Cantelli. Yeah, better doubt from Roby, just no, a head there, but good leg from Keane. Got to tidy it up. Take the opening leg here. Does miss doubles, Keen Barry. Evidence is there and an outside chance for Roby John in the opening leg here now. Well, sets himself up with the opportunity if Keen Barry fluffs his lines on this occasion, but he doesn't on this occasion. He finds the double four. Nervy start for Keen Barry, but mission accomplished and he has the opening leg on the scoreboard in this one. As for Keane Barry's uh, European prospects, oh, well, he's on 9,000, guaranteed. He's the quarter, 10, isn't he? He needs to go far, needs to go deep this weekend, needs to make an impression. First round exit, and that will be that. Yeah, similar equation to William O'Connor really on, has to make a quarter final. Keane Barry would oh, likely, that would take him to 15,000 if he made a quarter final, that was likely to be enough. There will be a no, bit of chopping so. and change, and we expect Chris Doby to have too much of the debutant done and Dylan Duo Jr. later on. That would leapfrog him and take Callum Rids out the spots, but they'll, like I said, 65. lots of subplots going on this weekend. Yeah, much depends on how Ryan Meikle and Vincent van der Voort. Meikle's got a tough assignment against Josh Rock later. 60. Van der Voort's will be in Schindler, so that could just open the door, couldn't it? They're in 31 and 32, or at least they were before the start of the weekend. But it all come out in the wash, I'm sure, over the next three days. No, I yeah, well, a better picture after tonight, wouldn't we, of who's got to do what. But Keen Barry knows he has to go to a quarter-final minimum. First and first, he needs to win here. And he's been left high and dry in this leg. Good leg from Rodriguez, double ten. 13 down, yeah, he's really good response. Yeah. Level up. First match of the night, it's a really good lineup tonight. Bunton and Gurney in action. Schindler, Van der Voort, as you mentioned, Brown and Sulevich. And a good match to end the night as well. Gabriel Clemens against Adam Hunt. And we've got the home favourites, Dallin Duo Jr. and Dyson Parodi in action as well. 41. Yeah, Dyson Parodi on next. I don't think we'll see any shy retiring Dyson Parodi. I think he'll make the most of his evening in the spotlight. Oh, as he intends to be quarter finalist here six years ago when he lost out in the end to MVG. Here's. Uh, didn't large it enough in that game. Did well, he? no, not for oh. me, no. Thought he's a bit subdued. He needs to come out of his shell a bit. What? <laughs> well, what a story that would have been. 91. I think it cost him a few quid as well. But he enjoyed his moment in the spotlight, Dyson. He'll be back in the following game. Ryan Joyce, tough assignment for him. But Ryan Joyce hasn't been at his best this year. That's inviting. Ah, I thought it was there. 105. Just the slightest of deflections on the way through on that second dart. Uh, Rodriguez, though, miles away on this third leg. 47. Yeah, so far, it's been comfortable for the person throwing first, hasn't it? And there it is, King Barry, 14 dart leg, good leg. And nervy opening leg. But these two 
playing the game at a good pace as well. They're being sort of happy with the approach of each player. They suit each other. They just get on with it. Winner to play, Jose de Souza in the second round. So a tricky assignment awaits. I think Keane will be mindful of the fact that he didn't really cover himself in too much glory here last year as well. He was beaten in the first round by Andreas Harrison, Dirty Harrison of uh, Sweden, 6-3. Best he's ever done on the Euro Tour is actually a third right. round appearance. That was, uh, well, he had one in Budapest last year and then one earlier this year at the German Darts Grand Prix. So, you know, talk about him going deep. It's something that he's not really done before. He's only made the final day on two occasions and he needs to go beyond that this weekend as well. But as we've seen, as I've said, semi-finalist on the Pro Tour this year, so he's got the capabilities, no doubt about that. Clearly a very talented player. He's doing okay, isn't he? I, I think he, he... Oh, hang on now. Double 18. Oh, brilliant from Rodi John Rodriguez. We saw a 1-5-2 from Richie Eddowes earlier on in his match against John Henderson. 1-5-6 there for Roby John to level up the match at two apiece. Great start here. Yeah, just saying about Keen Barry. Um, he seems quite comfortable that he's going to make the World Championship and things like that now, but missed out marginally on the match play, as is the Grand Prix, so got to just get that extra little bit of quality to get into those, those events. But, yeah, sitting 10th in the Pro Tour going into the World Championship, so stamp that card. He'll be playing there. 140. Yeah, and apart from that 19 dart opening leg, we'll excuse that one. It's been very good numbers so far from these two. 25 darts required for Rodriguez for the two legs that he's won. Wouldn't be at all surprised if this one went the distance on the evidence of what we've seen so far. Barry looking to fill it up. Yeah, it took us to the last match of the afternoon to get a last leg decider. Right, start with one here. With you, Rob. It's got that sort of feeling, it's going to go all the way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was a strange match, the uh, Rodrigo. I mean, it was a match that he could so easily have lost. And he was really on a downer at one stage with Rusty Jake. But Cantley didn't fully capitalise on those moments. Hit back to an extent, but there was only so much he could do. As uh, Roby John rattles in a ton 80 for good measure down to double 16. But Barry's there first, looking at the same target. But is that going to make him wilt? Big dart now for Keane. And the pressure, and that was a forced error. And Roby John gets the first chance to break here. Well, he barely moved there, Barry. It's not in. Oh, he's just retrieving a dart. But, uh, yeah, Barry barely moved. I thought he might have moved a little bit with that third attempt. Yeah, there we see. He's not happy here, Roby. That dart kicked right slightly. Mm, awkward now. He'll be kicking himself if he doesn't convert this chance. Oh. Really good dart for Roby John Rodriguez. First break, he had to break. He's going to win this match. He's got it now, and he punishes mistakes from Keane Barry to lead for the first time in the match. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, he, he was looking at not just the lower portion of the bed, but almost the lower portion of the lower portion. It was a very fine margin for him, but he found a way through. I mentioned, as we spoke to Roe before he went on, he's got problems. He's got problems with dry skin, eczema on his hands, and it can affect the way. I mean, Dan Dawson talked about the last time he was on the Euro Tour. It can affect his throw, and it's really sore at the minute, but... Seems to be managing it really well here. It doesn't seem to be sort of like it's affecting him, does it? So No. I mean, well, I mean, the last time we saw him on the European Tour was when he got to the final. I mean, he's not played in one since, has he? No, he qualified one, but didn't, yeah, didn't appear. Right, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah that, he was excellent there. Had a doubt to win as well. Yeah, narrow defeat by Humphreys in that final. Having come through a tense semi against uh, Mad Azarazma as well. Another player who's caught the eye this year. Yeah, Maddas Rasma quarter finalist last week in the Grand Prix. Really good run. He was excellent against Daryl Gurney in the second round after beating Ryan Searle. Didn't turn up against Gerwin Price, but a lot of experience gained for Maddas Rasma. Oh, he's, he's having a really good year. I think this will be the time, though, where Barry is looking. I mean, he's coming up to the end of this initial two year period of being a, a tour card holder. But I think, he, obviously, looking back, he'll be delighted with what he's achieved in those two years. He's obviously established himself in the top 64, which is the big thing. Well, yeah, and but having done that, there might be an element of what if about it, you know, in terms of. I, th I think a fair assessment, he'll, he'll agree as well, could do better. Yeah. And he, you know, that's every player should aspire to do better, but at the same time. Looking he's at the bigger picture. Yeah, Shall bigger picture's done really well. But he's got to dig himself out of the hole here now because he was comfortably looking like he was going 3-2 up. Now he finds himself 4-2 down. 
And this all of a sudden becomes a massive leg for Keane. For Keane. He gets broken here. No, the game we so. thought was going to be really close. It could become very one-sided. Easy five. I just wonder whether Keane's come into this thinking, well, OK, it's a, it's a bit of a long shot, me qualifying for the European Championship. Does that, I don't know whether that makes the pressure worse or whether it makes things better, really. I mean, you've got Rodriguez assured of his place, so he's here just to 54. see where it takes him. But with Barry, you know, it could work two ways, couldn't it? Well, there's still a tournament that goes towards next year's match play, next year's what? Grand Prix. We've already started, so, yeah, you, you, you've yeah. maybe he's left it late in the day for the European Championships, but you've got to take these tournaments seriously. You think you miss a... The world match played by a grand. They seemed miles off at the minute. Yeah. But then that grand could have been because you didn't apply yourself properly here. So, Keen Barry would be looking to have a decent run. And he does seem oh, like a, well, he does seem or well, strike me as a very level-headed sort of guy as well. So I think he will be sort of mindful of the near misses that potentially might lie in store. Well, yeah. He, he imagine he missed out on the world match play. So he, he'll be wanting oh, to do all the work yes. early yes. now. So he's not going into those last sort of month or so needing big results. 164 plays 164 in this one. Now Rodriguez has already taken out that 156. Let's see what he can do here. Well, he won't take out the 164. Yeah, he'll go with the 25 and going up, but he got rid of the four. So no real pressure applied. So Keen Barry should close the gap to one again here. Double 16. Outside eight. chance of a break of throw here. Yeah, Mr. Eight darts a double keen. Oh, perfect. Taking care of business with the first two. Leaves himself a single dart at tops. 78. Well, that was as good as the match there for me. A double break and 5 2. Needs to convert here, Keen Barry. And really good use of the guide. And he gets back within one. Still a break of throw needed, but could have been a lot worse if that double top had gone in. Yeah, he'd still rather be in Roby John's shoes right now in terms of the uh, state of play on the scoreboard. Although he's only kicked off with 58, so we have an early chance here for Barry to make an impression. But he's not really done a great deal with that. And with that reprieve, Rodriguez might kick on here now. Look at this. Looking to fill it up once again. 140. Oh, unlucky. It's not fill it up, but it was the maximum that Roby John hit in the fifth leg that forced the error and that's been the difference because it forced Keane to miss doubles we've seen how many he's missed there nine darts but those three costly ones a double 16 is the difference in the minute and he's not really making any sort of impact on Roby's throw is he no that's the danger that he finds himself in although he's made a bit of an impact there but it might be too little too late because six darts from here for Roby John Rodriguez he might finish it in three he'll set it up just to be sure but he may have crossed his mind for a split second. Uh, did the right thing. Yeah. Because particularly now, Keen Barry's going to leave this quite handy. And you don't want to come splitting the finish unnecessarily. This is to go within one of the second round tie with Jose de Souza and Roby John doing a professional job here. Got that break in leg five, just consolidating that break, and he knows he's one hole to throw away from the second round. Yeah. It's um, good game management that from Roby John Rodriguez ton from Barry to start things off and Rodriguez might fancy his chances here of making another impression looking to put his foot on the throat of Keane Barry and he's done precisely that he's kicked off with another ton 80 and Barry yeah, needed that triple 18 just to keep himself interested he may get the job done here and he could do it in style Oh, oh, it's on. It's on. We talked about Gibraltar before. The curse of Ross Smith. Dave Chisnell posted one here not too long ago as well. That what a way to start off the evening session. Over to you, Mark. Call it. Oh, go on, Ruby John. What a way to finish. It's on. Treble 19. And lucky for staying focused. Brilliant dart. Yeah, great recovery as well. His game's in such a great place at the minute, Ruby John. I've been impressed with him throughout the year in uh, that shot epitomised it and he's now got three for the match to cap off will be a fine display yeah it was seamless actually missed that treble 19 but straight into the treble 10 straight into the double 16 
And look at that, a 10 data to wrap things off for Roby John Rodriguez. What a great day it's been for the Rodriguez family. Firstly, Rusty Jake obliging in the very last match of the afternoon session. And at the very start of the evening session, Roby John Rodriguez has got the better of Keen Barry. And you have to say, in some style.